How you doing? This is Phil McKernan and uh, welcome to Phil McKernan TV. I did promise that I'd uh, talk to you guys about goal setting for 2011. And you might say, well, you're a bit far at the gate. You, you know, you've, you've kind of left it pretty late. I mean, we're almost into February. And by the time you actually get to see this, it may actually be February of 2011. But uh, therein, therein lies one of the very first things I'd like to talk about, and that's patience. Um, you know, we, we, we get caught up in... Uh, in rushing and wanting to achieve everything and, and wanting to achieve everything today and, and everything now. And I think that's one of the problems. And I actually specifically chose not to actually post everything about goal setting along with everybody else in the world talking about goal setting uh, for the 1st of January. Uh, I, I chose to wait because, you know, beginning of the year doesn't have to be when goal setting actually exists. One of my clients was saying, you know, he wanted to lose, I think it was something like 15 pounds of weight and uh, one of the girls in the room actually said to me, one of the Everest programs said, well, what, what about Christmas? Because he'd made this decision prior to Christmas. And his attitude was F-U-C-K Christmas. Um, you know, why do I need, why does, should Christmas be in the, in the way of me actually achieving what it is that I want personally? So anyway, um, so normally I never, ever, ever look at notes. I never uh, look at, um, we, we don't basically rehearse the videos. We just do them. Uh, I have a book here, but this is just in terms of the sequence of the videos I'm going to be releasing. Uh, I'm going to release probably about uh, seven or eight videos, depending on, on where my head goes with this, in relation to the steps that I personally take to goal set. And to be fair, I think it's fair to say over the last, certainly the last three years uh, since I started to simplify the way I look at my life and goal set, uh, the rewards have actually come. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to share what we do. It may or may not fit for you. It's not a 975 step system to success. It's simple. It's really, really effective. Uh, and that's why I like it. So the very first thing you should do uh, or consider doing um, before you ever, ever, ever come up, contemplate setting a goal for the future is to stop and appreciate the present. And we hear about this all the time, about gratitude and about appreciating where we're at and everything else. And we all go, yeah, 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 yeah. But most of us don't actually do it. We don't create a gratitude diary. We don't stop and, and, and have gratitude every day. On a very basic level, myself and my wife sit down almost every evening that we remember to do this, and that's more often than not, it's 98% of the time, over dinner we say, what are you grateful for today? In other words, what part of your day was magical or what piece? And it could just be a hug or a smile or a kiss or something, and tends to be a little bit more leaning towards my little boy Charlie and hugs and kisses we get from him. But nonetheless, we do it every day. So what I do and what Pauline and myself do is we sit down at the beginning of, uh, of every year and we actually stop and actually contemplate the previous year and we experience gratitude and we're grateful for various things in our lives. We look at all of the people in our lives. We look at financially where we are. We look at the work that we're doing. The, you know, we, still, we don't, without judgment, without going into what we're not doing. We just basically focus on all the things we're grateful for. We list those out and that is the very, very, very starting point. So we create some momentum coming from the previous year using gratitude as the tool before we start the next year. And without gratitude, without stopping to really contemplate, no matter how shitty your situation is, how shitty you think your situation is, if you cannot stop and find magic in the previous year, you're wasting your time looking at the next year. So that's the first message. And um, I'm gonna be posting a series of videos around this and uh, with a climax at the end. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Thank you.